To get the stiffness and the performance from the chassis, we need to layer those very thin elements of layers of carbon fibre. So to get one millimetre thickness, you probably need around seven layers, and a chassis can be between one to 20 millimetres thick in various different sections of it. So that allows us to tailor the thickness very accurately, more than you can do with traditional methods and materials. Before starting, I ask you to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and at the end, share this video with your friends. Let's go to the video. I'm Wes Jacklin, I'm the plant director of the McLaren Composites Technology Center here in Sheffield City Region. The MCTC is a state-of-the-art facility developed to produce the next generation of monocells or chassis for new McLaren vehicles. So why carbon fibre? Carbon fibre is around 45% lighter than aluminium, 80% lighter than steel. So it allows us to produce really lightweight structures. So today I'm going to tell you a little bit about the monocell, how we manufacture it. This is a real special structure that we have here behind us. Everything is in one piece, one unit, and it allows us to integrate lots of things that would normally be made as separate components under normal vehicle manufacturing. So it's a very cleverly engineered piece of the architecture of the vehicle and a real important foundation for the next generation of vehicles. So there's several steps involved in manufacturing a carbon fibre chassis. The very first of those steps is cutting out the material. And one of the differences here is that we use dry fabric material. So there's kind of two options when you're manufacturing carbon fibre. You can use dry fibre or you can use resin pre-impregnated fibres. The pre-impregnated method usually is a lot more labour intensive, whereas with the dry fibres we can go for a more automated process and that's one of the keys to allowing us to make chassis at high volume. Carbon fibre material starts off in this facility as a roll of material, it's, it's like a textile, and we actually cut out the individual pieces and we need to make a chassis hundreds and hundreds of those pieces individually cut out. The way we design how those pieces are cut involves a lot of computer-aided engineering combined with 39 years of experience that McLaren has in designing chassis. The thing that's amazing about the carbon fibre material is it's very lightweight from the start. So a one metre squared section of carbon fibre can be as light as 150 grams, that's about two sheets of paper. So to get the stiffness and the performance from the chassis, we need to layer those very thin elements of layers of carbon fibre. So to get one millimetre thickness, you probably need around seven layers and a chassis can be between one to 20 millimetres thick in various different sections of it. So that allows us to tailor the thickness very accurately, more than you can do with traditional methods and materials. So the next stage of the process is the forming process. And this is where we see a combination of craftsmanship and technology coming together. There's a real strong element of skill as the individual pieces are laid in a specific orientation and that's helped to be guided by a laser alignment system that really gives us the accuracy that we need for that. So when we've got the two-dimensional stacks, the next element of the process is to form them into a three-dimensional shape. Now the way this works, sorry I can't tell you that, that's a secret. And the reason it's a secret is that we've invested more than 10,000 hours in developing and optimising the way that we actually perform this operation using machines that we've also designed in-house. We've gone from a small development machine to a machine that's over 11 metres tall that's been designed and fully developed by the McLaren engineers from within this building. So the next stage in the process is when the chassis really starts to look like a proper monocell. And this is the resin transfer moulding process. So the way this process works, uh, up until this point we've got dry preforms in a three-dimensional shape and we join lots of those together to form a dry structure that we load into an injection moulding tool and we clamp it under pressure and that pressure is quite significant because of the force of the resin being injected, force of about 100 double-decker buses used to clamp it shut while we actually perform the injection. So once the injection process is complete, we remove the tool from the press, we separate the tool and the robot is then able to extract the chassis in one piece and that's the first time that we see a complete single piece monocell in a manufacturing process and that really is the foundation then for a customer's vehicle. The final manufacturing process is the CNC machining centre. In this process we add all the holes and mounting location points and features 
and we're actually machining not only the composite material but we're machining the aluminium inserts as well. So the absolute last step in the process is the quality verification of the chassis and that's done here in this facility here on the CMM machine and when we've checked all the, all the features are fully correct on it it will leave to Woking where it will become the foundation for a customer's new vehicle. So at McLaren we don't just engineer the monocell we actually design the processors and all the manufacturing equipment that goes with that to industrialise the process. And that comes from over 40 years of experience within the company of working with composite materials and a lot of great innovative ideas from the team that allows us to make these cutting edge processes.